more money and a whole lot of hot chocolate. We told you last night about the boy raising money to help build a border wall. A day later, both money and reactions are pouring in, and tonight KXAN's Tom Miller sits down with the boy and his family to ask them what's next. Have you been working on these for a while? Yes, we've been working on them for two weeks. This one says proceeds help Trump build the wall. After a weekend spent selling hot chocolate for the wall, seven-year-old Benton Stevens is now counting his money by the thousands. Like 6,000. The money filling up a Venmo account set up after the fundraiser began turning heads in Austin's Steiner Ranch and going viral online. And then one of them sent it on Facebook and then Everyone started coming. Not all of the attention is positive, though. Comments posted on social media caught the family off guard. I didn't think that they would do that towards a seven-year-old. I figured it would just be directed towards me and Jen. There's also been support, including the creators of this GoFundMe page reaching out to invite the family to D.C. They asked if he could come up maybe at the end of the month and take a visit, meet some interesting people, see some really cool things. But what is it about the, the border wall that you like? Why do you think it's a good idea? It protects our country. The Stevens admit there's no guarantee the money will actually pay for the wall if they follow through with their plan to donate the money to the government or the GoFundMe. And it doesn't necessarily get given specifically towards the wall, but then there's another uh, GoFundMe page. I think it's We Build the Wall. The reason the family set up this Venmo account is because people just started sending donations through Facebook Messenger. When I asked Shane Stevens about there being no guarantee the family wouldn't just keep the money, he conceded there's a certain level of trust involved. For his part, Benton is hoping to hold another hot chocolate fundraiser next weekend. Sydney. All right, Tom, thank you. We touched on this last night too, but keep in mind you can't donate directly to a particular government project. You can make a donation that goes into a general fund called Gifts to the United States. Make a check or money order payable to the United States Treasury. We pull reports from the Treasury and last year the Gifts Fund for this account totaled almost two and a half million dollars. By comparison, the fund that you can donate to to reduce the public debt took in less than $800,000. By the way, the biggest gift funds last year include more than $870 million to the Agency for International Development, donations to the National Park Service collected more than $47 million, and then contributions to the National Institutes of Health's Conditional Gift Fund raked in more than $43 million.